hello hello thank you guys so much for tuning into another video it is your girl tabitha here today i will be doing crochet braids on my daughter's hair this is the hair i will be using this is 16 inch spring twist as you guys can see there look at that uh, the color is 1b and each pack comes with 15 spring twist as you guys can see this is sold as a seven pack for only $29.99 on Amazon. It does come with a latch hook and a couple of designs that you can put on the spring twist if you choose to. You're gonna need some type of edge control brush, some type of oil for your hair. I use the Kaleidoscope, I'll talk more about that. And I just found this at Target, the Kaleidoscope edge control. Okay guys, this is the braid down. I got this from Beauty Can Braid here on YouTube. I'll leave a link to her channel. Make sure you guys check her out. Um, this is probably the easiest that I could do. And I tried to put all of the braids together. I'm not the best, you know, braider in the world. But so what I'm doing is I'm taking the latch hook and I am just trying to hide that last little braid so that it's not dangling down and this is probably the easiest thing to do you just kind of hook it in between the braids so that you don't have to sew it down i guess you can still sew it down if you want to but we're not going to be doing that today and beforehand a couple days ago i did wash her hair we did a deep condition i blow dried it out so she's gonna be good to go we're gonna use this kaleidoscope. This is actually our second bottle of this. It works really, really well, you guys. Um, my daughter had an undercut and we were trying to grow it out for the longest and it just it just wouldn't grow out. And then, you know, see this on Instagram all the time, decided to try it out and it actually works. It actually grew her undercut out um, long enough to where I can braid it. As you guys can see, it's all braided up. So, but uh, you use this two to three times a week is what the packaging says. So I'm making sure to get her scalp really good. And her hair is all moisturized and everything like that. So she's good to go here. Okay guys, now we are starting the crochet process now. I'll show a little close-ups later on in the video, but basically you want to have your latch hook facing downward. And I noticed too, and this is not my first time doing crochet braids, but um, using it downward, I think helps the, the braids or the spring twist or whatever you're using to lay flatter on the head so that it's not too bulky. And also I do, I do not put the crochets underneath the braid i put it like right in in the braid if that makes sense so you just want to take your latch hook you just want to put it in the braid not under the braid because it because when you do this i didn't want her to get headaches when i first did crochet braids i put it underneath the braid and then she was complaining of headaches and stuff like that so you don't want it to be too tight and eventually over time the crochet will loosen up but this is a style that will definitely last a while um she just had her hair out of uh, we did box braids i want to say maybe like a month ago so then she kept it um just her, just her hair her natural hair out for you know about two weeks and then she said she wanted some braids and then i decided um company wanted me to review these so i said okay we'll use it on her hair so this is 16 inch spring twist the color is 1b and like i said earlier it comes with seven packs and 15 pieces come in each pack so i ended up using about six packs which kind of shocked me i thought i was going to have to use all of them but i only use six of the seven packs and I wanted to concentrate one of the packs on the back of the head just so, sure, blah, 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 just so I can make sure that that was covered up. So I am kind of showing you guys a close up here. So you want to have the latch hook facing downward. Like I said, it's going to help lay flatter to the head. And you really don't even, once you get the braid in, you see there, it has a hoop. You want to put the latch through the hook. Then you want to just find a piece of the braid and then you loop it through. It literally is super easy to do, guys. This definitely took me 
before I started the video, I told, told myself I was gonna put my timer on, but this was definitely 30 minutes and under, like for sure. It did not take long at all. Even to braid her hair down, it didn't take me that long at all. And this style is gonna be easy for her to, you know, oil her own scalp every, you know, every other day she can, you know, just move the braids to the side and oil her scalp. So it'll be super easy for her to maintain also. And the spring twists do come in about three other colors. Of course, I will link uh, the Amazon link in the description bar below for you guys. So this is about two packs in at this point. So I thought that I was like two packs. I told her to go slow and she ended up going fast in the chair. But <laughs> but yeah, only two packs in so far. And you guys can see the back is pretty much covered up. And she can wear this up or down. So I wanted to get closer so you guys can see what I am doing here. So then you can bring the end of the braid up and then you pull it so that it can so that you can secure it right up against the braid there so then it's not tight so I am going to do a couple in regular speed so you guys can see And as you guys can see, it's blending in with her natural hair pretty good. There's some techniques you can do to make it look, um, you know, the front look more realistic. But I'm like, let's just put the crochet hair in. And if you take it out, if you're gentle enough when you're taking it out, this is definitely hair that you can reuse. And I think for this side of her head, I ended up using only one pack. So then I ended up with that last pack that I didn't need to use. And once you get it through the latch, if you don't want to use it to um, secure the ends, you can usually just make the top big enough. You can just literally just put your hand through and put the end of the bait, the end of the braid through. Super easy, guys. This is super easy to do. I am not a licensed hairstylist, but you know I do know how to do simple stuff like this. So. You guys can see I'm just you know probably five or six in on the side of her head this point at this point and look how much you know the sides are pretty much covered up and it's really lightweight you know it's not heavy you know like box braids or you know other type of braids will be so this is super lightweight And then the last one or two that I had, I just kind of filled in um, any open spots that I saw in the back. Next up, we're going to use this Kaleidoscope Edge Control. Let me tell you guys, the Kaleidoscope products that I've used so far um, work really, really well. Let me tell you something. This was $16.99, okay? Very expensive edge control, but it actually worked. So I thought what I was going to have to do, I was going to have to, you know how when you lay your edges, you tie them up. I thought that I was going to have to tie them up, but I said, you know what, let me see how they look without me having to tie them up. And literally guys, probably two or three hours later, her edges were still laid. I did not tie them up afterwards. So if you guys see this at Target, you're looking for a good edge control. And my daughter has very long, thick edges too. And they laid her edges.
Okay, guys, this is the end result six packs later. And definitely under 30 minutes, I was able to achieve this look. They are light, they are bouncy, and overall, uh, she was happy with the end result. I was happy with the end result. So I will leave all the information in the description bar if you guys are interested. Look at that edge control, honey. Yes, get you that edge control if you need a good one. It works. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I'll check you next out in the next video.